Honk Review. Everyone, and welcome to a random review. Today, I am immensely excited for the one, the only, the rarest Bionicle piece, and arguably the rarest Lego piece ever in existence, the Platinum Avoki, which, as you can see here, has adorned Takanuma, its rightful owner. But speaking of owners, let me go ahead and introduce the owner of the Platinum Avoki. He's a former guest on my show, and the one and only Andre Hurley. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing well, I'm excited. Are you excited? Of course. Okay. Always yeah. excited whenever we're with LJ, so... Of course! <laughs> so, tell me a little bit about how you came into possession of this immensely rare item, and the story behind it. So to summarize things relatively quickly, um, the the mask was listed for sale by the second owner on eBay, and after about a year of messaging back and forth, we had worked out a price. And nine months after that of blood, sweat, and tears, I eventually ended up with the mask, and I've had it now probably I want to say about five years, ish, <laughs> roughly. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, uh, I, I got it from him. We actually drove halfway each. Uh, he lived in Nevada, and I personally live in Utah. And we, you know, we drove about nine hours each, met in person. You know, he wasn't was really uncomfortable with the idea of shipping the mask, uh, and I don't blame him. Something like that getting lost would be a tragedy. So, yeah, um, that's kind of you know a very brief description of how I acquired it. So mm -hmm. now. It's well documented exactly how valuable the mask is. You've mm. been on the record talking about its immense price. Um, is it a Guinness World Record holder for the most expensive Lego piece purchase? Or So unofficially, it is the rarest Lego piece in my opinion especially, but in Bionicle, it is the rarest Bionicle piece. As for most expensive piece, unofficially, yes. Officially through Guinness or other records that way, no. But anywhere you look it up, it'll say this was the single most expensive piece ever sold, like the single piece. So officially, no, not through Guinness, but other sources, yes. Mm -hmm. And now with this, obviously enough, you currently have no plans to sell it, at least as far in so far as I am aware. Yeah, that's correct. Plan um, on plan on keeping it for a while. So <laughs> excellent, excellent, and. What are your, how do you feel, not only, obviously, as the owner, but as a fan of the series? So, to me, the Platinum of Oki was something that was always a dream to have, but because the first, you know, the person who initially won it was not a community member whatsoever, their picture was shown with the mask, and they were done. Like, you, I did not hear anything about it until almost 12 years later. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, I personally never thought I'd even see the piece, let alone own it. Um, funnily enough, the uh, the solid gold how was the one that I always thought that if anything, I would do my best to try to get. Um, but as a, you know, through the community and everything, uh, thanks to the community buying parts of my collection at the time, you know, I was selling different things to acquire the mask being a lot of money. And uh you know, so through the community, it's it's still mind boggling to me that, you know, I even have the piece. So <laughs> mm -hmm. pretty crazy. But, um, you know, they, it worked out and and I'm stoked. Like I'm still like every time I hold it, it's just crazy to me. And I don't you know, I don't get to hold it very often either. So mm -hmm. it stays tucked away for the most part. So, yeah. 
and that makes a lot of sense. Obviously, looking at the mask here, as you can see on screen, it is immensely shiny. It is glossy. It is beautiful. Now, obviously enough, not every part of it has been polished, but that's because look at its shape. It's not easy to get in that kind of groove right in the mouth, especially. Simply a beautiful piece. Well, where can people find out more about the mask? So I would suggest looking on Facebook. I have a Facebook page called the Bionicle Archives. And, uh, you know, I've talked a lot about the mask through there. Um, I actually have the entire written story about how I got it on BZ Power, but uh, I'm actually have plans to transfer that to that Facebook page as well. Um, uh, fun fact as well, the uh, the Platinum of Oki was left unpolished in parts like that as well, just to make the spikes, the main three on the on the top of the head there, um, more vibrant mm. uh, based on all the information I can find. And then the other fun fact being that that version of the mask being, you know, the exact same mold as the production mask is 30 times heavier than the plastic counterpart. So another fun fact. But That's awesome. All right. Well, links to the Bionicle Archives will be in the description below. However, don't tune out of this video just yet because we have something also super exciting to show. Check this out. Here we have, well, what's this? It's Chiragavaka, sorry, Chiragatakanuva, nice. And it's, why, that looks like an Evoki, and it's still super shiny. Well, here today with me to discuss this from Red Star Gaming is, of course, Meerkat with the Noble Evoki. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well, LJ. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm equally excited because we have something very fascinating here. If you could... Run me through the process that went into creating this and the story behind this as well. Absolutely. So, uh, again, like LJ mentioned, I am from Red Star Games. Uh, I am here at this uh, at the Bionicle Archives uh, to help out with uh, this project that Andre is underway with. And as a celebration of such, knowing that the Platinum of Oki was going to be here, I wanted to celebrate it with a little bit of RSG flair. And we have a design for the Noble Evoki that was uh, initially written, or excuse me, drawn by Umatu, who was our very first 2D artist, uh, as far as I'm aware he was the first one. And uh, he drew up the Noble Evoki months ago, and we haven't done much with it since we've been busy pushing out other waves of masks. And... Knowing that we were going to be here, I asked the head of the 3D modeling department, Petrus, if he could model it up. And uh, I am one of their prototypers for their masks. I own a uh, SLA printer called a Form 2 that uh, prints in extraordinarily high printing resolutions, mm. even down to 25 micron layer heights. My goodness. It's extraordinary how detailed you can get with the with the printer. And... Knowing that I had that kind of resolution, I thought, well, what I can do is, oh, and yeah, absolutely, show that off. So this is the uh, resin print that I made, and the backside isn't too pretty, uh, because to be honest, that's all I cared about was getting the front side as pretty as we could. But what happened was I got that printed, and I took it to a professional caster uh, who made jewelry, and uh, that lives in my hometown. I, I live in Arizona and they uh, I got them to make a mold for it and I bought some uh, casting grain silver to uh, get this cast in. So this is actually cast in sterling silver and I wanted this to be a very special addition to Andre's collection and I figured a noble Evoki would be just super appropriate to be in silver sitting next to the Platinum Evoki, and mm -hmm. 
So that's our little gift to this beautiful collection that we're, I'm so humbled that you've invited me here, Andre. Well, of course. It's always been, you know, so a quick little tidbit here. We'll just add this in real quick. Um, this collection has been something that's been very tedious, but comes from the bottom of my heart when I, I think of the community and I think of, you know, everything that went into Bionicle. And now that it's been over with for years, the community is what keeps everything alive. And, you know, with that being said, what RSG is doing is great. And what, you know, TTV and these other things are doing is just incredible that, you know, the community still has that that bond, even though the series has been gone for a while now. And it's things like this that continue to bring everyone together. So, Well, Andre, as the owner of the Platinum Evoki, what are your thoughts on the Noble Evoki in comparison? Well, I gotta say, I totally love the look of... It, essentially what I love is how the mask is more elongated, giving it that almost the Noble Huna look. Mm -hmm. And I love that. I absolutely love that. And the, the throwback to the uh, the spikes on the mask here with, you know, the sides here as well is just beautiful. And another key touch with this specific one here is silver to platinum. They are very similar. The silver is more of a white colored metal where the platinum is almost darker. So the shininess of the the shininess of the Noble Evoki is much brighter in the aspect of light and darkness to it. And so I really like that contrast between the noble version and the great version. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. And Mir, do you have anything that you are particularly excited about with this mask? And are there any tidbits you're interested in going forward? Well, yes. Yeah, so the, the, <laughs> this is funny enough. Uh, one of the first times uh, I've ever... Uh, tried getting anything cast. Uh, so, so some trivia about this was that I, I tried about three times to get this mask cast myself before I actually took it to the professional caster. So I'm, I am glad that I was able to do that uh, uh, with the professional caster. Otherwise, it either wouldn't be here or it would have looked not nearly as nice as it does. So uh, moving forward with uh, more of rsg's masks uh at the very least uh i know that we have some just over the horizon uh some new releases and you can of course buy this mask uh the noble evoki on our shapeway shop uh you, you won't be able to get it in this uh material exactly <laughs> yeah. because this is obviously <laughs> cast uh but you you can get it uh in any of the plastics and i believe we may don't quote me on this just yet, but we may actually allow this for the metal 3D printing options uh, available to us on Shapeways, uh, which means you could own it in silver, but this is definitively the only one that has been cast. And uh, I think that that is what's so special about this mask in particular. Um, aside from that, I think... Uh, you know, there's there's not much else I can say. I'm just so proud of, of being able to be here and, and presenting this. I'm very proud of this work that us at the uh, RSG Red Star Games have been able to do. Uh, and we're very excited for what's in the near future. Okay, fantastic. Well, in that case, links to purchase that will be in the description below. I think that about wraps things up. Mir, Andre, thank you so much for being here. Well, Okay, Andre, thank you for having me here. And Mir, <laughs> thanks for also being here so we can talk about this. <laughs> but we're going to go and wrap things up. Hopefully you've all enjoyed and had a good time watching this. And maybe you learned a little more about both of these masks. So once again, thank you so very much. And you have a wonderful day.